Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to the start of a new RimWorld series, which is mostly going to be focusing on the DLC and the new stuff. But yes, here are characters. Somebody complained that my... Well, all of my other colonies end up as all women, so this one has four men. There you go. And this one's closer to vanilla, but I still added a lot of mods because I can't live without them. But without further ado, let's actually build a building somewhere. Actually, first we should manually set the priorities. So give me one second. Got lots of doctors. Please stand by while I sit everyone's jobs. Do something like that for now. Getting there. A lot of threes over here. Everybody can find the Dutch. Do that. Everybody can do that. Everybody can fish with nothing else to do. Okay, we don't have anybody that can do animals, so hopefully that's not an issue. Also, hopefully this runs a lot faster than the last one, but let's actually get a place set up. Actually, cut some trees. We are going to be in a jungle this time, because after the winters from the last one, I don't want to have to deal with that ever again. So this is a jungle that's as far north as possible, so it's not too warm. But we should be able to have a growth period all year long, so that's good. So let's see. Let's make a wall. All over here. And we'll make this the place we live in for now. So we might sneeze in a second. Also, we have a cat. Name is <laughs> Pumpkin. Very nice. Some things look a little different with the update. Mostly good. Oh, yeah, weapon. You can have the gun, you can have the knife, and you can have the scalp. What was I going to do next? Oh yeah, stockpile. Here we go, that can store all this stuff. And we'll have a dumping zone over here for now. Now watch them just waste all their time repairing what we have there instead of building new stuff. So you're vomiting a little. They still got the Crypt of Sleep casket. They fell from outer space. Yeah. Speaking of, there should be somewhere on this map a ship chunk. Is there a way to search? Thought that was added somewhere. But if it is, I don't see it. I guess we'll find it later. Ash has noted Ash has noticed an ancient monolith partly buried nearby. If you investigate it, you could learn more. Fallen one. Twisting lines carved into the surface form a disturbing pattern. 
And there's a dead person. It's some herbal medicine that you're immediately taking for some reason. I mean, if you want to. Bring the table. We'll put a chair at it eventually. Or even now. Let's see. Do we have the other chairs? The square ones. So let's get some sleeping spots set up. Just five for now. So these characters are based on the characters from Witch's Heart, in case that wasn't clear. Although, if you never watched that series, then yeah. It shouldn't matter too much. I just thought they would pair well with some of the spooky stuff from the DLC. Just a reason on that wall. And get rid of the columns, they're just decorational. The room isn't that big. Got a special Romano. Particularly strange combination. Already acidic coffee garnished with a wedge of more acidic lemon. Meant to be juiced into the coffee before it quickly consumed while hot. An acquired taste to be sure, but lauded by those who prefer it. Specially indicated to, specially indicated to combat intestinal parasites. Gets rid of intestinal parasites. Fast. Still counts as outdoors because we didn't complete the wall, but yeah. Okay, now it's indoors. Excellent. Then I just gotta. Complete the floor a little bit. So there are different colors. We'll go with regular wood for now. Like that. That should be good. Now at least they have a room to sit. Ooh, there are orange trees and lemon trees. Awesome, let me make sure everything recorded. Seems good, okay. Now, this obelisk is probably the start of the DLC stuff, so. But let's get a house first. Don't have any steel. Getting plenty of wood at least. We should start a growing zone to grow something. has one spot that's not in it. Oh well, rice, we're starting, because that grows fast. Awesome, we have some wood and steel here that I didn't notice. So these are lights right here. Do these just work? It does make it bright. Can I claim these? I can, but I can't move them, so all I did is make this home area. We do have beds that can claim those. And then I can't move them. So, don't do that. Ah, uh, here's one of those ship chunks. Let me see if I can get them all in one click. There's three. Deconstruct those for components. need warm clothes. Oh, because it's in the middle of winter. Yeah, winter isn't gonna go below freezing. I think they'll be fine. 
And we have lots of mountain resources. So go get gold or whatever that is. And components, sure. Ooh, there's more food over here. Please get that. Okay, storage, storage. Is it here somewhere? It's possible you don't have a research somehow. Where is the shelf? No, they're just in furniture for some reason. Oh, because I don't have that other storage mod, so there's... Yeah. But anyway, hey. Put some shelves down. Okay. For now, just put everything on the shelf. There we go. Now everything's neat. Which means, let's immediately give them beds, because they don't like not having bed. Let's see. Give them that cheaper bed for now. If it builds faster. A group from Dinda are visiting the colony. They have some items to trade. Who even has social? Who can talk the good talk? Uh, just Ash, I guess. Go trade with them. We could buy nothing. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold on to the one. We could sell the coffee. Which, at the very beginning, sure. Maybe one day we'll make our own coffee. Now money is probably more useful. Also, a drifter from Dinda is passing by. Very nice. What was that? Something attacked something. Oh, this looks like that cobra attacked that rat. Oh yeah, let's see. Noel doesn't like the daytime, so let's change them to sleep. One second. What is daytime damage? 11 to 18, so we really need to sleep. So please be asleep during that time. Need a stove. Would also need power. What do we have for power? Wind turbines. Yeah, just make a wind turbine. Sounds good to me. Two should be good enough. I hope you have the resources for that. I should have checked. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff like that. Let's get power already. Also, wall lights, which are now base game instead of from a mod. So hopefully they still work the same way. They seem quite... Okay, they, they go on the spot outside of the thing now. I don't know, but I'll accept it. Put a light. Let's see, we got a marsh here. 
Lots of marsh. It's not currently windy because trees. There's trees in the way. I should notice. So a rat, a local rat, has gone berserk. Just shoot it. Taking care of it. It'll Willardo with their gun. Okay, let's see. Don't have batteries, so just don't have power, I guess. And there's no end. But without further ado, let's get this expand this to here so that no trees will grow there. Then we'll do one in the back as well. That growing zone I shall make. Cotton. So we can get started on having cotton too. Yeah. Let's recreation. Let's get that quick. So we can build hot springs, which is from a different hot spring mod. Still need one of these things, the steam geyser, geyser, whatever they're called these things. Anyway, let's just get a horseshoe pin out here, for example. Chest table. Let's put that over here for now. Batteries. We need a meal source. Working on it. We need defenses. We need weapons. Serious. Getting close to going crazy. That's not good. Ah, uh, it's because of the rotting corpses. First production. Butcher spot, that's what we need first, right? Nobody's skilled enough to make it though. So we'll just use this little butcher spot. Right below the light. Butcher that rat. Electric stove. I can move this afterwards. But for now, right here. The food source already. Ah, yes, the name of the faction. It shall be called the Shortcake Project SCP. And as for the settlement name, I don't know, let's just call it the SCP Foundation. Yes. The foundation of the SCP. There we go. There we go. Stove active. Okay, let's see. I guess simple meals. Four. There's five of us actually, so make five at a time. Yeah. We 
me the defenses, apparently. I think just like... Something like this is enough to start. I'll just go in the middle of that. No, our amount of food is low, but we're we'll getting to the planting part. Yes, we can only cook food when the wind is active. Once we clear everything, it should give us more power. This is the rich soil, so we should definitely grow there eventually. Good. No way I could do this stuff at night. So batteries, food, weapons. Let's get a little crafting spot. What can I build on that? Some weapons. For now, can I like make a knife out of wood? No, that'd be too useful. Let's see. But there's a club in here, right? Make a club out of wood. Okay. Wooden club. Let's make sure we always have a club at least. So. Did they remove the ability to... Oh, this doesn't have a quality, it's just a club. So I can't change what quality. But then there's also short bumps. Make those for now. Try to get good at them. Okay. Just contracted diarrhea because of bad personal hygiene. I see. I forgot I need the bathroom. So apparently the electricity blew up a little bit. Okay. I need a temperature. So it's gonna get warm in the rates. Or is it too cold? It's cold. Why is it at 0% right now? Oh, it's just 0%. Okay, never mind. We don't need temperature stuff yet. What we need is a bathroom and... Yeah. Let's just put an outhouse or something over here. Actually, turn that around the other way. Okay, put it here, then. Then we would need a little water tub. Try to put one out there. There, now they shouldn't get the diarrhea. <laughs> Raid from the trash chokers. A group of wasters from trash chokers have arrived nearby. They repair for a while, then attack. It's just jet. them do their thing for now. Weapons. Let's see. You don't have one. Go we'll grab a club. You're fine. You're fine. You don't have one. Go we'll grab this short bow for now, I guess. New lovers. Claire courted Sirius by joking about core worlds. Sirius was attracted and is now Claire's lover. I see. That was fast. <laughs> or 
first. That guy, hang on, still up there. Check. Now, are you actually bald, or is it just... Yeah, you are bald. I don't know if it's the, the hat mod glitching out or something. Oh, there's a good bow there now. Switch out to that. And then make another. Okay, let's see. Let's zone. Group zone. Another zone of here. What can we grow? Do we have the mod with the radishes? The radishes grow pretty fast. Nobody is skilled enough to plant them, so never mind that. Get some corn started for later. We can research. We can't currently research. But the first thing we want is batteries, wherever they may be. I no longer have the search option. Find stuff. No, it's up here. They moved it. Oh, it's right here. Better. Which means now I need a. Research bench. Now, I haven't forgot about the enemy. Do not worry. We'll make this a research room in a second, perhaps. The enemy's not coming yet, so. Okay, now they're beginning their assault. So, everyone, get in here. Going around long to make sure they don't, or they're gonna go punch this. Yeah, because I cleaned that once. Okay, they're going to be annoying. So please go over here and start shooting. So they don't just start burning stuff. We're hitting the cat. Cat, run! Once so they're bleeding out, get closer. Get the melee over here as well. I don't have the mod that prevents friendly fire as much, so. Okay, they're punching the cat. They killed the cat. We had a cat for a little while, but Pumpkin is gone. Are they any good? Not really, we do not have time to build a prison, so I think I'm just gonna let them die. Sorry. Oh yeah, I need a well. As well. Here's fine. At least we have your hatchet. It's probably better than a club, maybe. Slightly better than a club. Oh, yeah, the bodies were in the shoe. We need a new zone. Far away, maybe that one. Or we'll just I think over here for now. We shall have the body dumping zone. Where do I check whether they're oh, right here? Only the rotted ones. 
although that means they'll be in the other one for a little while. Now they, they died. I could do that. Alternatively, I could just... Whoa, what was that? I, why is there like a dark thing at the... Okay. Anyway, graphical image. What was it? Graves. Let's just start a big graveyard. So, over here for now. We'll put them in there. With the cat go. Cat's still here. So just to make sure I do not butcher the cat. If it sets there, ain't they get kind of mad about that kind of thing? Where is it? Oh, yes. Butcher spot underneath the wall. Not with your cats. So even though I destroyed that corpse spot, I should still have it. So let's make it again. Now I must tighten the corpse, so. Somebody will dig that grave eventually. There we go. Will he put the person in it? I don't know. Oh yeah, I have to check what's allowed in it. Or can I not change that? Apparently we put a different dead body in there already. Another grave right next to us. Must have been the, oh yeah, that other you got a lot of graves actually. There we go, there'll be four over here. to it in case we need another one quick. I don't think we can put the cat in it, so it's just gonna sit there. Okay, let's... Stone cut. That's something you might want. It'll be outside for now. Food poisoning from the meals. Oh no. Because the cook was incompetent. Oh, yeah, I'll swing the stockpile zone just for that stuff. So let's, I guess, over here. Make the, what's it called? The fecal zone, yes. And then 
just build a little, uh, nobody has to do it. Put it your ornate door. Just the new double lights. It costs gold, though. So we're not going to do it. But cool that we can. We don't have the mod that adds the different size doors, so that's okay. Here we can do prototype battery. Let's build a roof area. Right here. And then I shall put a battery over there. Then we should have power taken care of. So somebody collapsed because of the food. Serious. Anybody going to clean yet? Or did I give you all too much to do? At least we're getting some rice already. Prototype was built, yeah. Connect it to the power network. There's a hidden one, which took slightly more, but then it would go under. But let's just go around the plants. So let's see, Jonanina Kamenya, a dame of Empire of the Spirit, is calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped, but is now being followed by a manhunting gu guinea pig. Sure. Yeah, let's make serious at the royal type. Okay. Now you go down here, and then a guinea pig will show up. Capybaras. The man hunting guinea pig. Now you're clean. That's good. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, Willard, you have a gun. Head up here and take care of that king. Oh no. It's okay. It just scratched both your arm and your hand. Don't worry about you. There we go. Serious is now a freehold. Yeah. You know what, sure, let's do that the little ceremony. Since we don't need to build anything for this. Yeah, room impressiveness is nothing because we're doing it outside. Yeah. We don't have the animation mod anymore, so we're just gonna stand there and stare.
Let's see, possibly the greatest moments in serious life, bestowing ceremony, allow them to develop. I don't know, you can be a snob. <laughs> it was a terrible ceremony. But he liked it a lot. Okay, I need a little meditation spots. Which is in here for now. Serious starving. It's no good. So any lemon tea trees we can find in the world. Let's harvest them. Bananas. It's bananas. Berries. There's gotta be lots of berries. Let's harvest all the berries. Searching batteries for real. But yeah, now during the night, well, not during the night, it's wind power, but whenever the wind power is running, I'll still have the battery. So we now have the stone cutting ability. Let's just have it so we always cut blocks. But only if it's like Within that range. I think just have some hauling to move all that stuff. The food is still very low. Now, let's expand, I guess, this way. But we need more rice. We'll never run out of wood in this pipe. The jungle is good for getting trees. Do we get the food shortage potentially taken care of? We can check out the fallen monument monolith. So we can make a little effigy. It over here. Yeah. Have a party involving that. Failed to build it. Watching the sunset. Do not need to meditate, even though you can. So we'll only we'll use psychic powers if we really need them. For now, focus on getting the base to kick in. Let's approach the monolith. Investigate. We should investigate the monolith. 
I don't know what happens when they'll investigate it, though. Okay, Noel can go investigate. The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch, and Noel thinks he can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. The lines on its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Noel focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens, the shapes begin to flow in Noel's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in his mind. The anomaly is stir. Keep focusing, I guess? What's the worst that'll happen? Uh As the mouth twisted and changed, Noel was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, he understood. The monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Noel is convinced he can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. Building category unlocked anomaly. Research tab unlocked anomaly. Entity Codex Unlocked. You can now study the monolith and other entities to gain anomaly research. I see. It's activated it. A mind of incomprehensible horror stirs on the other side and is now touching our world. The monolith seems to be partly active. There seems to be no way to shut it down. To learn more, you must activate it further, which will require some special research. I see. A blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells ancient, ancient somehow, and it stings the skin. The unnatural grayness of it invokes a sense of dread. Okay, that's a lot. Let's just go back to our lives. I can just look at all this stuff I can research. Gritty fog. What have I done? Uh, any harbinger tree. A harbinger trees are spreaded nearby. These gnarled trees grow flesh-like coverings and feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby. If well fed, the grove will continue to grow. In a tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. A spooky tree. Study that. I guess we just already know about it. I guess we'll create the corpse stockpile there. This is just already a rat there. Let me see if it's got everything. Don't put the fresh ones. Don't put the colonist ones. There we go. The new corpse. We don't need the old one. We can just feed everything to a tree. Yeah, that, that's a fine enough thing. Holding platforms needed. Holding platforms to place holding spots to contain and study captured, captured entities. Do we, do we need one of those like immediately? Want a holding spot? I'll put it outside. <laughs> ah, ropes. It's a bondage platform. So it says we have one. Let's just focus on the food situation a little bit. I'm 
instantly activated the spooky mode. A shaman merchant from the red iguana tusk. Let's see if we can go trade with them. I can also dismiss them so I can just tell them to leave. So if there's ever a situation where I don't want them to come in, I can now just tell them to leave, which is nice. Okay, we could get goats for milk. And then have muffalos for the wool. I think they do they give milk as well? I cannot remember. Either way, I think I want some. Let's see. We'll just take the muffalos because I think well we can just grow high. Milk could be nice though. And they're cheaper. Take the goats. We should start a farm something. Wooden fence. The fence across here, sure. Then, like here. Press here. So, animal gates to allow through regular doors are the ones we can go through. Let's put a few of those. what I'm planning to do for it. I can hold like 38 goats. I think it would be good if we put this pen. Major breakers on Sirius. They crave dessert. Okay, let me see. I can do something about that. Ritual spot over here. I don't know, Claire, perhaps. You become the exquisite baker. Then I can make stuff. Claire will gain the following abilities make it dessert. Let's get Claire. So, wow, it's got all of the Reaper Chips. <laughs> Book about her beliefs for the future. Claire described her wish to serve a greater purpose. Explained the responsibility of her new role. There, she can now make the desserts. How does this work? Target a meal to turn it into a dessert. So, like, if I go in there after they eat, use it on that. They turn into desserts. And then in two days, we can make more dessert. That's cool. SCP director now. Ash is the only one with socials. Let's make Ash the SCP director for now. Then they can get back to work. Successful role change. Wait, new lovers. Who's in love now? Ash flirted with Claire by joking about caves. Claire became aroused and agreed to become Ash's lover. I see. So she's just lovers with both of them. Whatever floats her boat.
So we don't have anybody for animals for now. Everyone show up at the end. For our goats that we paid money for elite. So we got alpacas. We could tame alpacas. Nobody can do it though, because we need level one in animals. Capybara is good for anything. The largest natural rodent, the capybara, is well adapted for steaming jungle environments. I don't think they do anything. I might have to hunt them for food. They're capybaras, can I? Also chinchillas, turtles, monkeys. The rats. Of course, the cobra. There's a lot of rhinos in this jungle. Anyway, we got the anomaly research. Leave just regular research for now. I want to finish that battery research. Okay, we can begin the special ritual of burn the hater. Let's burn the live effigy. The room is terrible, so it might be a terrible thing, but let's burn. <laughs> yeah, seriously, worried about eating zucchinis. Canyons, heartfelt conversation. It was a boring minus one mood. We're getting raided by the night outlaws. It's just one person, but they have a sauna shock. So that's will dangerous. Also, were they attacking immediately? They are attacking immediately. Everyone to the defensive location. Go here. Okay, stop shooting now. Okay. About to beat them up. Okay, they are dead. We need to start growing Devil Strand to make sure we don't die. Are you good at anything? Uh, you're good at crafting, but we're we'll eventually be good at crafting ourselves. Give a sauna shock. No, that's pretty cool. Grab. Oh, son off shot. No, not you. You have the pistol. The pistol is good. We'll just leave them because we still don't have nearly close enough time to build a prison. We need to get these animals contained. My okay, stockpile zone is still there. It's just missing a couple spots. We're getting lots of food now. Still says a little food, so I'm gonna continue to grow a lot of sight, see sight stealer revealed. A twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. What is that? Emaciated and misshapen humanoids. Their arms end in sharp curled claws formed from biophorite. Sight stealers are fragile, but use psychic influence to render themselves invisible until they get close to their victims. They are known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. 
Okay. Everyone converge over there. I think the player's going to get attacked by a bitch dodged. Okay, I run it. Okay, good. Get over here. Shut it down. New research available. Discovery of the site sealer has yielded new insights. You can now research the fall. The proximity detector. It's a device that can detect invisible enemies. That's cool. So I probably shouldn't activate the spooky mode too early because we're not ready to fight things. I don't know if we're going to do anything with that body. Oh no, you botched the construction. and enclosed because of that wood. A wild man wanders in. A person living among wild animals has wandered to the area. He's called Kanu. You can attempt to tame him. He's a furry person. I don't think we would be able to tame him because nobody's good at animals. I convince you to haul that wood so we can actually put our animals in the pen. Okay, they want 57 silver. A group of poor travelers, including a child. They need the silver so they can buy back a friend who was kidnapped. Also, animals are now falling from the sky. There's a goose. Take care of the goose, I guess. Where was that other group? Not right here. I'll give silver to him, sure. When you wake up. Ah, uh, somebody's still dying here. Don't mind that. <laughs> we moved the goats in yet? I don't think so. Desserts. So can I get you to just eat some desserts? Ah. Beggars are now leaving. That's good. So let's just claim this. Let's get this into a room real quick. Single doors. At least I still have that mind. Just deconstruct that instead of repairing it, please. Okay. Are the goats inside yet? Yes, the goats can now frolic free. Hopefully, get 
Yes, lots of milk. Okay, cargo pod with food in it. Get those fine meals. Goose is joining. It's a male goose, so it doesn't give us eggs or anything. But we'll keep it because we have so much room that it's not going to eat up too much food or anything. Everything else, sure. Just that they don't have to do their research out in the rain. They're still learning how to how to do the construction. They'll figure it out eventually. Getting there. I was wondering if I should split these episodes up or not. I suppose we shall. So this will be the end of the first. <laughs> Let me know if this is interesting at all, if you think it was all there. Took me forever to get it set up with all the mods and stuff. Hopefully you enjoy it. Liking, favoriting, subscribing, commenting, sharing, all that. Appreciate it. I don't know why I said favoriting, but that is appreciated, yes. Okay. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the next one.